Hello and welcome to another episode of Salty Sunday. Today I'm going to talk about whale communication and how deciphering what whales are saying could help in the search for alien life. Humpback whales have long been known to use bubbles not only as a tool for feeding but also as a way to communicate with each other. But now a recently published paper brings us the amazing news that humpbacks may also be using bubbles to try and communicate with humans. Amongst themselves, whales use bubble displays in fascinating ways. On breeding grounds, males release bubbles when competing for the attention of females. Males have also been observed releasing bubbles directed at the female genital mammary area, including when she is giving birth. Mothers and calves have also been observed gently blowing bubbles at one another while resting. But the bubbles directed at us are quite a different shape, being described as, and I quote, madly spinning donut shaped clouds that look like giant smoke rings about three feet in diameter that rise rapidly to the surface. This vivid description comes from a scientist called Roger Payne, who first documented this phenomenon in 1995, and you can see from the picture just what he means. The new study documented 12 separate bubble ring events involving 39 rings made by 11 different humpbacks. Interestingly, the whales only produced them when there were no other whales around to interact with and only in the presence of boats or swimmers. The humpback whales were either stationary or slowly moving forward, with their bodies held horizontally and blow holes upright. The rings floated upward in perfect circles, always parallel to the water's surface. It's an amazing idea that humpback whales might actually be attempting to communicate with us. Just imagine the possibilities. The research comes from the SETI Institute and the University of California. But why would SETI, which stands for the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, be interested in whale communication. The answer lies in Whale SETI, a project dedicated to decoding humpback whale vocalizations, looking for patterns, meaning, and possible modes of interspecies communication. The reason being that if we can learn to communicate with another highly intelligent species here on Earth, it might give us the tools to recognize and communicate with intelligence from elsewhere in the universe. I feel a Star Trek moment coming on, but in that particular film, it was only Spock that got to communicate with the whales. This isn't the team's only remarkable finding. In 2021, researchers carried out a playback experiment in Frederick Sound, Alaska, in the hopes of striking up a conversation with a humpback whale. On the first day, using an underwater hydrophone, they recorded a clear whoop contact call from a group of nine whales. The following day, they played this call back into the water. After just three repetitions, a 38-year-old female humpback, later identified as Twain, approached the boat. What happened next was extraordinary. Over 20 minutes, researchers played 38 whoop calls to Twain, and she responded 36 times taking turns as if engaged in genuine dialogue. She swam within 100 metres of the vessel, surfacing periodically to breathe, before diving back down to continue the exchange. It was, quite literally, a conversation between human and whale. There is also a research team called SETI, which stands for Cetacean Translation Initiative. They are using a different approach to deciphering sperm whale language with the hope of having a conversation with our marine friends. SETI have gathered large data sets of sperm whales communicating with one another. Using this data, they are integrating robotics, machine learning, linguistics expertise, and biology with the aim of understanding what sperm whales are saying. After recording the sounds and movements of the sperm whales, they will process the raw data, use computers to learn and understand whale communication, and then validate understanding via playback studies. Whilst this kind of research has many challenges and it could take years before we have an actual conversation with a whale, it does demonstrate the possibility of us developing an understanding 
of how to communicate with these amazing creatures. And beyond its implications for the search for extraterrestrial life, I can't help but wonder what would whales say to us about their watery world and what we've done to it, about the noise that fills their oceans, the ghost nets and plastic drifting through their home, the warming and acidifying seas, our industrial fishing, and the fact that we hunted these great whales to the edge of extinction. If they are reaching out to us, perhaps the first thing we should do is listen. If you have enjoyed this video, then please like, subscribe, and share with your like-minded friends.